So you guys, you're all welcome to today's video, Tash Glow. So yeah, today we'll be doing eyeshadow. So interesting, the most interesting part of makeup. So yeah, I already did my eyebrows off camera. So we'll just go straight into applying concealer to the eyelids to prep them for eyeshadow. So yeah, make sure your concealer is well blended using a damp beauty blender so yeah so you guys can see how i'm doing it you can see how neat it looks very very neat so next i'll be just brushing off with a bit of powder just to make sure that the uh, concealer sets yeah so you guys can see so up next i'll be coming in with this brush and a very light purple under my crease this one is going to be our transition shade so yeah just like that with a very light hand we're going to blend it into our crease also going to do the same thing on the other eye yeah so make sure you, you use a very light hand so that the uh eyeshadow comes out flawless you don't want it to come out too harsh because that's the transition shade so yeah just like that you go back in so you guys can't tell the difference too much because this one is our transition shade and it only has to be a bit yeah like that So yeah, just make sure you blend here, you guys can see. So up next, we are going to pick uh, a different brush. And we're going to go in with a bit darker, something that is also a purple. It's a bit darker. So what we're doing is a cut crease. What the eyeshadow we're going to do today is a cut crease. So yeah, we're just, these are the foundations of uh, our eyeshadow today. Yeah, so just in the corner of the eye, we'll go in with that shade that's a bit darker. So you guys can now tell to say I have some color on my eyelid. So just make sure you blend again with a light hand. Don't be too harsh. You guys can see how I'm holding the brush and always make sure you have a mirror nearby so that you don't get to see falsely using a mirror that's from afar so yeah just coming in a bit on 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 the eyelid like that you blend also on the other eye always make sure you the blending is is good and perfect So we're going back with the same brush for, that we use for the transition shirt just to make sure there are no harsh lines yeah so we just go back just to blend so that the two shades that we've used can blend not a situation where you have the dark one is showing to say it ends here and the light one so yeah so you guys can see so next we'll go in with another clean brush and this time around, we're going in with a darker shade of purple again. So yeah, from the corner of the eye, blending like that. Coming into like inside, also on the other side. So yeah, just blending. Blending, uh, perfect blending is the only secret for flawless eyeshadow. So you guys can see what's going on. Just make sure you blend nicely and use clean brushes. So that you don't get to put the color that you don't want on your eyes. So yeah, we'll be going in with this brush. Sorry guys, I'm not so good at knowing uh, the names of brushes. But yeah, with time I'll learn. So right now I'm going in with the brown 
just to make it look uh to make the purple look a bit deep so yeah i'll go in with some brown that's going to help my eyes to pop so the brown will just go to the corner of the eyes like that so you don't have to make the brown come out too much because it might just like take over the entire color that you had already put on the eyes so you're yeah, going back with the brush that i used earlier i'll just go in to blend again so yeah you guys can see what i'm doing and you guys can tell how we're moving to say uh the found the the foundation of our eyeshadow is really coming out nice so yeah i'll be going back with the same brush that i used for the transition shade again just to blend to make sure my shades the different shades i'm sure i've put about three different shades here to make sure that they blend so that they don't come out with lines yeah So make sure I just blend. If there's no product, you add a little bit, not too much, so that you just blend like that. You guys can see how we're doing it. So yeah, you guys can see how the eyeshadow is turning out. So yeah, right now I'll be cutting my crease using a flat brush so that's the uh it's a shimmery uh purple also so just from the inner corner of the eye we'll add like that i didn't put concealer to cut my crease here because this the the what the eyeshadow that i'm using is really pigmented like the shimmery one that i'm using right now so all i, I had to do was just to wet my brush a bit so that it can pick uh, as much product as possible so you guys can see how i'm cutting the crease right here so at times uh i add concealer to cut the crease before i add the actual product because it really helps like it just gets to lay a nicer best for our eyeshadow but the due to the pig, pigment of uh, the eyeshadow i'm using like the shimmery one i don't really need to add concealer yeah so also do the same thing on the other eye So just pick product bit by bit. Don't pick it at once. And just go in. In strokes. Don't just go in like at once. Just bit by bit. Fill in. Where you feel there's no product. Like little product. Just make sure you. Just put product. So yeah, you guys can see uh, how the eyeshadow is, is popping out. So we'll go back with a, a darker purple just to blend the shimmery, uh, our shimmery purple with our matte ones like that. So make sure you blend so that the demarcation doesn't show to say here we have the shimmery one and here we have the matte one so you guys can see the blending so just go back in and make sure you just place the eyeshadow where it's supposed to be So you just blend so you guys can see how it's no lines are showing to say no this one ends here so yeah 
so from here i'll be putting my my lashes i already did my eyeliner off camera so i'll be coming in with my eyelashes just to make the look pop so you guys can see how it's looking it looks really really good i like the eyeshadow it's simple you can even wear it on just a normal day it's simple and nice so yeah I like long lashes but at times when I'm just like um just going somewhere I I do wear short lashes like so you guys can see you can see how good I look I really look different yeah so you guys I'll be doing my face uh, I did my face off camera so after doing your um, makeup you'd want to come in with some eyeshadow under your eyes so that yeah your makeup just looks perfect so you guys can see how good I look uh, I am rocking you guys yeah so uh, I know I look good so you guys thank you so much for watching hoping to see you next time on my next video thank you for making time to watch don't forget to subscribe don't forget to like and don't forget to leave a comment down below you guys thank you so much for watching once more yeah so you guys can see how i'm rocking thank you so you guys see you next time